Dumpty dum dum dum. Ah, oh, milk. Nature's way of saying, me likey. Hey, in case anyone cares, we're out of milk. Cats like milk, but cats can't buy milk without getting carded. We could always wring out your furry, milk-drenched upper lip. All right, I confess. I'm the dairy delinquent, the moo-juice marauder, the creme de la creme of calcium criminals. Do with me what you will. All right, I'll bite. What could possibly be more interesting than watching my outrageously cute kitty antics? Ooh, this is a thrill ride. What's next? The watching paint dry triathlon? Snail wrangling? Ooh, ooh, a C-SPAN marathon. <sighs> it's our assignment for biology class. We have to hatch a chick. But the little cluckster won't show. Hmm. It's been days and we have an impending date with the Zombie Brothers that we cannot miss. They've got tickets to Wicca Palooza. You haven't moshed till you've moshed with guys whose body parts fly off when they slam dance. Chick, you say? As in future chick M? As in last name Ketchatory? As in moi? You lay one paw on our homework and it's a one-way ticket to Flea Bath City, Fuzz Farmer. Sheesh, like I care about a lowly egg. If anyone needs me, I'll be watching my favorite show, The Eggs Files. <laughs> Funny cat. Uh, oh, good morning, girls. Uh, I've kind of got my hands full with Salem's little April Fool's Day uh, prank. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Uh, listen, would you make sure Sabrina's up? She's got a dentist appointment. All over it, Uncle Quig. Waking up grumpy preteens is something we live for. Thank you. I'll use the internome system. Sabrina, honey, time to wake up. You have a dentist appointment. Ah! Oh, Sabrina, honey, it's time to wake up. You have a lousy dentist appointment. Uh, by the way, uh, Hilda didn't really say lousy dentist appointment. I just added that because I'm a bitter, bitter gnome. Man, I have got to get a clock radio. Now! Yeesh, something is rotten in Tusylvania. Well, it's official, Sabrina. Your wisdom teeth are coming in crooked. I'm afraid they gotta go. Go where? I like them where they are, Dr. Grey Matter. They match the others. <laughs> no! Sorry, Sabrina. They gotta come out or the pain's just gonna get worse. But don't you worry, we have the technology to make sure you don't feel a thing. <laughs> I'll have the receptionist make an appointment for tomorrow and we'll take care of that nasty toothache once and for all. Hey, you guys, want to give me a hand here? Oh, no. I want ice cream. <gasps> Why? You're coming with me. Stop her. Don't stop. She's got to give. What? Hey, Sabrina. What's wrong? You look like you just saw a ghost or were just about to have your teeth yanked out or something. Whoa! 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 Yeah! <laughs> Interesting analogy, Harv. So, uh, what's with the new threads? My mom made this outfit for me. I'm gonna wear it during tomorrow's talent show while performing my death-defying skateboard act. Remember? Mrs. Dronanon named you one of three judges. Yeesh, I forgot all about the talent show. Mrs. Dronanon only named me a judge because I'm like the only loser student who isn't going to be in the show. Funny, huh? I don't have any unique skills or talents of my own, so I've got to judge others. Hmm. I hear that's how it works in Hollywood. Anyway, what do you think of the outfit? Whoa! Ugh. It's, uh, real swell, Harvey. Thanks, Sabrina. Remember, just because you're my best friend, that doesn't mean you have to vote for my act at tomorrow's talent show. 
Even though I've been your best friend for like ever, and even helped you pull your head out of that banister that time when we were seven, really, no pressure. Yeah, thanks, Harv. <laughs> uh. Well, I gotta go practice my awesome act, so I'll see you later, best friend. That's if Siegfried and Roy don't like you for that outfit first. Yow! Oh, man! Hey, there's my favorite friend, the judge! Check this! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Oops, <laughs> gotta work on that move. Uh, Chloe, what are you doing? Just giving the coolest talent show judge a little taste of tomorrow's winning act. Mainly me. So, what do you think? Do I got it or do I got it? Oh, um, yeah. You've got a real chance. Your dancing is really, uh, unique. I know you'll, uh, <laughs> blow away my fellow judges. Thanks, Sab. That's just what I wanted to hear. I'll bet. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Sabs. I gotta go rehearse. How'd I get myself into this judging thing? <laughs> Chloe's a terrible dancer, and Harvey's outfit makes him look like Liberace's crazed twin. And they're both expecting me to vote for them tomorrow? Sheesh. I wonder if I should have told him what I really thought. Nah. Yow! Ugh! And now my own teeth hate me. Oh, well. I'm gonna turn in. Thanks for listening. You two are always there for me. Good night. <sighs> watching the slideshow of Uncle Quigley's potato chip collection. Let's just cast a spell and speed this thing up. Please, please, please. Hilda, you know the rules. If we don't pass high school by mortal rules, we stay like this forever. Do you want to stay young and beautiful forever? Huh? Do you? I'm sorry, Zell. I, I lost my head. You certainly did. Now you get first watch. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. I'll relieve you in one hour. But what about the zombie brothers? If they show up before the egg hatches, we'll just have to take a rain check. Our mortal schoolwork is more important than the biggest concert event in netherworld history. Hatch, hatch, hatch! Do you mind? How am I supposed to get my 32 naps a day with this racket going on? Ugh! I just wish this egg would hatch! We have a date with the zombie brothers to see Wickapalooza! But we can't leave till this chick's hatched. Hmm, did I hear wish it would hatch? What's going on inside that fuzzy little head? It's really such a little request. Speed up the hatching so the kitty can get in his napping. <laughs> I meant to do that. What to do, what to do, what to... Huh? Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? Your pacing is disrupting my cable reception. Of course, well, uh, here's the dilio. I'm down with the dilio, sister. I may reside in a ceramic jar, but my hearing's clear as a bell. Let's get on with it, shall we? Sure, why not? To speed a chick, to hatch and grow, takes a simple twist of a feline's tail. That's it, huh? Well, thanks! Yow! My toe! I've been so silly. People have their teeth pulled every day. There's nothing to be afraid of. Right, Dr. Grey Matter? Of course, Sabrina. Now, please, if you could just answer one question. Is it safe? Is it safe? <gasps> Sabrina, wake up! It was just a bad dream. Quigley isn't really wearing hot pants. It wasn't that bad dream. Sheesh, you let out a scream. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get any rest in this house? It's these teeth! I gotta get rid of these teeth! I thought you had an appointment tomorrow. I do, but I'm not going. I'm too scared. I've gotta find another way, a simpler, less painful way. If this simpler way lets me finally get my nap in, I'm all for it. Uh, hello? Spookster? Aloha! Hey, I love the Hawaii Five-0 retro look. It's you. Save the fraudulent flattery for someone who cares, little witchling. 
I'm off the clock. Vacation time, baby. My official Netherworld Incantation Union contract allows me two weeks paid every ten incantations. By my book in this twisted house, I'm long overdue. And certainly no one deserves a vacation more than you. Did I tell you your jar is really shiny and... Cut to the chase, little lady. I've got a scareport shuttle to catch to that big broomstick to scaradize. Okay, please, just this one little favor, then be on your way. It's my wisdom teeth. Quite simply, I need them gone. Gone, you say? Ah, <laughs> oh, don't make me smile. My lips are chapped. Are these floaties? I'm not a good swimmer. Give me those. Do you want a spell or not? Yes, please. Sorry. Wisdom teeth that hurt her mouth will shrink in size as they head south. As wisdom and teeth go hand in hand, both shall vanish like these grains of sand. <gasps> well, Sabrina, I've never seen anything like it. Your wisdom teeth are, well, gone. Aha! Uh -huh, great! So you don't need to pull them, eh? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Guess there's nothing to pull. Well then, if that's it, I'll see you later, Dr. Grey Matter. Thanks! Hey, is this your family? Boy, what a goofy-looking bunch. <gasps> <gasps> what I meant <laughs> is they have really big heads. I, I, I gotta go. <sighs> At least the frame's nice. Why would I say that? I mean, even if his family is kind of funny looking, I never should have said that out loud. What's wrong with me? Don't walk, why not? What could happen? <laughs> What was I thinking? I didn't even look both ways. It's like I'm suddenly getting stupid. I feel kind of funny. Maybe I better ask Salem what's wrong with me. I'll just hitchhike home. Hitchhike? Am I crazy? Hitchhiking is like the dumbest thing anyone can do. Why would I even think of it? What's happening to me? Hey, Sab, check this out. I call it the Kinkle Half Pike. <laughs> Great, Harvey. A move named after half a fish. It's fitting because half a pike fish couldn't stink as much as that lame move. Oh my gosh! Did I just say that out loud? Look, I, I gotta go. Actually, I really don't gotta go. It's just a thing you say in a moment like this to ditch a scene. Yikes! <laughs> ah! Sheesh. Seventh grade girls. Can't live with them? Can't insert a microscopic submarine full of scientists into their brains to figure out just what the heck is going on in there. <laughs> oh, look. Sabrina's hair looks like the obstacle course in this year's hamster hoedown. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny, Jem. Actually, <laughs> it is funny. Huh? Well, so, uh, oh, really? Well, did you buy that shirt somewhere nice? Because cause I like it and I wish I owned it. I can't stop saying what I'm actually thinking, no matter how horrible the truth is. Ugh, Sabrina Smellman likes my sweater. I might as well give it away to the unworthy. Unworthy? Angora. Soft against my skin. <laughs> hey, Sabrina, wait up! Not now, Chloe. Trust me, you don't want to talk to me. Especially if it's about your crummy dancing. Ugh, I... <gasps> what are you on about, girl? I was just wondering if I could borrow your blue dress for the talent show tomorrow. Did you say crummy dancing? I... I did. I don't know why, but one thing's for sure. Your butt will look huge in my blue dress. <gasps> I, look, I gotta get home, Chloe. Crummy? Big butt? Uh-uh. May I suggest when you get home, you take a long nap, Grumpy? <gasps> no time to talk. I'll be in my room. Peace out. Uh-huh. Okay, there. We did it. We hatched the chick and wrote our report. Can we go now? I guess so, and thanks for being patient, Hilda. I told you we could get through this assignment without resorting to magic. It's them! It's the Zombie Brothers! Oh, look! Something's different about Bob. Did he get a new haircut? It's hard to tell since his head fell off. Oh, look! He's screwing it back on! Wicca Palooza, here, here we come! come. <laughs> oh, shit! your eyes here shaking your eyes there <laughs> huh?
<laughs> Sawing for teens. <laughs> I love this show. Salem, you gotta help me. I'm saying the wrong thing and doing the wrong thing. Ever since I used that spell to make my wisdom teeth disappear, well, it's like my smarts went with it. I'm, I'm completely brain drained. Wow. You think I'm being overly dramatic? The big ch chicken eye staring at me, always staring. Well, then again, a few restful years in a rubber room never hurt anyone. I'm losing it, man. You gotta help me. Okay, okay. It's obvious when you lost your wisdom teeth. Well, you lost your wisdom. My wisdom? Yipes! That's why I keep saying the wrong thing at the wrong time every time. Because my wisdom was in my wisdom teeth. Rule number one in your witch's handbook, all wisdom teeth dentistry must be done by mortal means. Well, rule number one in the W section under wisdom, page 25,360,001. The W section? That's a big book. I'm only up to the Bs. Double duh. Look, we need to find those wisdom teeth before you say something really unwise. Unwise? Oh no! I'm on a judging panel for a talent show tomorrow! Let's face it, no one's ever nearly as good as they think they are. If I tell people, my friends, what I really think... It'll be the end of your 12-year-old world as you know it. I can't go on like this! I can't tell people what I'm really thinking! I've got to find the spooky jar and get my teeth back the way nature intended them to be, pain and all! We've got to crash a spooky jar's vacation! Get us there! Okay, first we gotta get to the Netherworld vacation spots. Here, let's try this spell. Seven oceans and grains of sand take us to a netherland. Where are we? Encapsulated indentured spirit shores, the seaside resort for mystical beings that live in magically cramped quarters. The foul, seemingly alive entity that haunts old milk cartons. Ouija board poltergeists. Crawl space bump in the nighters. You got your genies who reside in magic lamps. Your genies in a bottle. And of course, spooky jars. Ah, oh, the hermit crab. Cowardly little denizen of the sea. First sign of trouble, and it's right back into that little protective shell, isn't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Hey, spooky! Over here! It's me and Salem! <laughs> We know you're in there. I can smell the coconutty scent of your suntan lotion. We need your help. I told you I'm on vacation, off the clock. I saw the movie Death Takes a Holiday. If he can, so can I. We're not leaving till you help us. Better put on some sunblock, because you're going to be here a long time. <laughs> He's right. We might as well settle in. We just got to wait him out. He'll come around. Not my floaties! Goldfish! After me! Hey! I'm sinking You saved my life. And usually that's followed by, is there anything I can do to repay you? Usually, but not this time. I'm still on vacation. All right then, what if I give you back this? <laughs> all right, all right, I'll do anything. Just give me back my suit. I need my wisdom teeth back. Fine, by gingivitis, cavities, and plaque. What once held wisdom will now come back. Ow! Hey, it worked! They're back! Ouch! Hey, they hurt again! This is great! Ow! Hey, hon. I just wanted to wish you good luck. Oh, hey, Sabrina. You got your teeth yanked, huh? Yeah. It wasn't just a big deal. Just hurt a little. Well, you seem a lot calmer. Y you're not gonna insult me again. I'm sorry, Har. I guess I was a little over the top. I was in a lot of pain, the teeth and all. You're a very talented skateboarder, Har. So you'll vote for me? 
Only if you're the best act, Harvey. I want to be fair, even if you are my best friend. And to be honest, well, maybe you could spend a little more time on some of your board tricks. Okay, that's honest. I'm not all that great, I guess, Sabrina, so that's fair. It is? Sure. You know you can always be honest with me, Sabrina. Really, Harv? Of course, Sabrina. I can take whatever you want to tell me. I'm a big boy, okay? Well, uh, then I gotta tell you, I really think that silly outfit's gotta go. It's really lame. My outfit? Uh, but I love this outfit! My mommy made this shirt! <laughs> Harvey! I... Who am I to judge? May, maybe I'm wrong. I... Just kidding, Sabrina. <laughs> I think the outfit's silly, too. I was just waiting for someone to confirm it for me. Thanks. First contestant, Harvey Kinkle and his death-defying skateboard act. I'm up. See you, Sabrina. Go get him, Harv. You really still think I have a chance? <gasps> Chicken! Gee, Sabrina, I appreciate your newfound honesty and everything, but you don't have to call me Nate. Big chicken! It, look, I just have never done my tricks in front of this big a crowd, okay? I... B big ch chicken, ch ch chicken! Fine! All right, Sabrina, I'll show you. I am no big chicken! <laughs> huh? I am no big chicken! Hey, that's pretty good. Ha 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 ha!